two, three. Hi everyone, it is day six and we've just uh, have behind us, some of us are still uh, on uh, night shift and so they're going to come back at 12.30 just after midnight and uh, one of us is going to go for the night shift, so working again from 12 o'clock tonight until 9 o'clock morning. We've had another interesting day and this morning uh, we had a bit of a sleep in, at least that was my team, and then uh, we went to Sikaminia which is about uh, 45 minutes from here and uh, we went to that place which was um, recommended to us and that was, I mean, beautiful ride through the mountains, nature, absolutely gorgeous. Then we came to that uh, beach and that small village and where you know, since 2015 more than 500 refugees landed with their boats on this beach and we were just um, Thinking, I mean, it was very quiet as we walked along the beach there. I'm wondering, you know, how many boats have come in here, and also how many people have lost their lives in trying to come to Europe and um, trying to come to Greece and, and, and trying to find, you know, a place of new hope and future. So that um, was very emotional, very touching for us. And then we went to the warehouse and we um, unloaded all the stuff we brought. It was like nine suitcases and bags full of what the Spanish and the German team brought. And we were just sorting through everything and we piled it all up. You know, all the tools we were given, all the different uh, materials and pens for children. So it was like huge. So thank you everyone so much for all these contributions, not just you know, and donating money, which is amazing, and the money, money is still coming in, but also for the amazing stuff we were able to bring. And you, if you can just imagine the eyes of the one of the warehouse, Andrea opening it, and, and then there was another guy, Danny, in charge, and he was like, what, this is what you all brought? So yes, we, I think we surprised everyone with the, the generosity um, many of us have expressed in bringing material. And then you know, we went to camp, and that, that was a quite emotional time um, this afternoon. First, we had to uh, dismantle um, the tents from the quarantine area. So some of the guys come, especially from Nor uh, from Somalia yesterday, uh, with skin diseases. So we then had to turn down and turn, you know, dis dismantle everything, and also had to throw away quite a bit of stuff because it is now, con you know, contagious. And um, that was okay, but we were amazed about the dirt, just from one night of sleeping, how much dirt is left, and how many clothing already lies around. Um, some of us had to clean the big tent, um, where they had an overnight shift, and so we're trying to house the people who came last night and put them in various tents. And then Janina, Leah and I, we went and had to put dividers into a tent. So there's a, a tent which normally could maybe I don't know, we, we, in our youth groups, you know, we would put maybe, maybe six or, or seven people in there with their suitcases, you know, for a camping weekend. But now we had to put up three dividers so that they could have three families in there. And we were like doing it and we became very upset. <coughs> it was a bit like, are we upset with each other or are we discussing the ways of hanging up these blankets? And then we realized we are just really upset because of... Just imagine that at home in, in Germany we might just place one horse into that area and say so that you know have to have enough space to to just be. While here and um, the tent was moldy, it was it was disgusting, it was dirty on the grounds, <coughs> it wasn't even, and we still had to, you know, imagine putting three people in such a tiny space just really hit us really yeah, badly. Yeah. But um, we finished off the evening. And I really loved uh, doing the gate guarding at um, the minor boys because, I mean, I saw them now back for the third time. They come, give you high fives, and even they gave me some hugs in the end, which is probably not very loud, but they gave me hugs and just were so grateful for us being here and, and being there with them, sharing life and fun. They were dancing and drumming again for us. So, so a very emotional day today, very touching and at the edge, edge of wanting to cry, but also very grateful that we can be here and make a difference and bring some smiles to some people. So thank you very much for your interest in our journey.